I first came across the programme by accident actually. I, I was researching another uh, project and uh, and it popped up in my searches as you can search BBC listings online now which is, is a really great service and um, I just thought it was so fascinating that there was this archive based programme in the 60s. It just it runs contrary to um, to everything we think about archiving in the 60s so I thought I thought that was brilliant and then to find out that some episodes survived and that we could watch them unfortunately um, they're, they're not freely available they're in the BBC archive but um, it was it was great to see them and uh, and compared to how archive footage is used today Now we're in the very different position of being able to uh, save and preserve a lot of material then uh, uh, that wasn't possible uh, due to uh, practicalities of production costs and, uh, and also television was seen as, as more ephemeral then. Um, so what's interesting about Plunder is uh, it's, looking, it's looking at archive material as an artefact. Um, now I think we're more inclined to use archive material to tell stories because we're, we're more used to it. It's, certain, it's made me consider, reconsider what I thought about um, archives and programming in the 60s actually and, and curation now which part of my job is to select programs to go in the BFI National Archive and um, it, it's made me reconsider that slightly that um, as I say, we, we just assume when we, when we talk about programmes from the 50s and 60s, so much is lost um, or was wiped. Uh, so to find, to find this programme um, where these things were valued and talked about, uh, yeah, it just it changes your perspective. Loads of brilliant documentary series and films, film essays being made using archive material. I think uh, perhaps we're getting to a point now where the archive material is more available uh, in its original form as well and so you might watch, uh, watch a series and pick up on a piece of footage in it and then be able to watch that whole programme separately and um, have a different perspective than on, on the new series, if that makes sense. I think that's, that seems like a good way forward um, and hopefully that will happen with uh, more availability.